An encounter between a man and San Diego police officers ends in a stun gun being deployed. That incident has some community members raising questions as well. Our ABC 10 reporter Anthony Pura has more on what police say led up to the officers confronting the man near Petco Park. In this video, you can see the man behind the camera making his way across the street. By the time he gets to the corner of Park Boulevard and 10th Avenue, you can see several officers making their way towards a man. One of them deploys their stun gun, taking him to the ground. As I was running, I could see the gentleman had been tased from behind and and just dropped to the ground. Michael McConnell is the man who shot the video. We met him at the place where it happened. McConnell says he was at a nearby coffee shop Tuesday morning when it all started. I noticed a gentleman coming down the sidewalk, uh, a, a black man who uh, had a cane. Uh, he didn't appear to be using the cane. He was just kind of carrying it and he was talking to himself. McConnell is an advocate for the homeless and he is often downtown. He isn't sure if the man is homeless, but he noticed that some officers appeared interested in him. Shortly after the gentleman had walked by me, uh, some police officers uh, were quickly walking down the sidewalk and I figured oh, they might be following this gentleman. So I immediately got up, uh, I, I filmed. San Diego police tell ABC 10 News it all began when the man damaged at least one police vehicle that was parked in the area. According to police, the man damaged one of the mirrors on a mobile command unit. ABC 10 News found one parked nearby with damage matching the description. According to SDPD, officers saw the man do the damage, so they followed him. As they did, they say the man, quote, brandished his cane towards another citizen. More officers were called in. Police say officers asked him to drop the cane several times, but he didn't. The stun gun was then deployed. In the video, an object appears to drop to the ground around the time he's hit by the stun gun. ABC 10 News reached out to the NAACP San Diego branch about the incident. Their president says the video raises concerns about the department's de-escalation tactics. We would like to see what occurred before the video started that warranted a lot of space not being given so that there could have been some other de-escalation techniques. They have a matrix of a lot of things that could have happened. What was so urgent that he needed to be rushed with all of these um, officers to be tased? Police say the man was arrested and the primary charge is felony vandalism. Anthony Pura, ABC 10 News. Police say there is also their own body camera video and the incident is now being reviewed, which is standard anytime force is used.